So the homework honestly is obviously just alphabets, writing her name, practicing writing, but I try as much as possible to sit with her and do it. Now, not all the time do I put Amari on my back, but this day he was very, very cranky and he just was running around and sometimes he has like crying spells. So I just thought to myself, this is going to be a perfect time to just put him on my back so that I can actually clean up. One thing I like to do before they go to bed is clean up or if I'm filming. So the day after day after this, I was going to film. So I just tried to set up my filming studio so that that way I know that every single thing is in place. One thing I've realized is the more organized I get, especially about where I put my things and the cleaning and everything like that, the easier it is for me to find things. And it's also easier for me when the kids are going to school the next day. So I try to clean as much as I possibly can because if you have kids, you know that the whole day is basically just chaos. They're on the floor. Look at this. On the floor playing with stuff you're just all over the place so before they go to bed before i actually put them in the shower i try to clean the room just so that the room is clean for the next day i love doing this honestly it's also for my mental health a lot of times i've noticed when things are a little bit more organized i'm able to relax at night and it also kind of helps me with the next day and you know being able to find things and you know it just it honestly just helps and nighttime is honestly one of my favorites because if i put the kids to sleep early enough like if i put them i try to put them to bed at least by 10 i know it's like super late but sometimes i have like at least 2 11 from 11 from 10 to 12 i have to myself and i just like to relax if i'm not sleeping but i try to kind of start our routine pretty early around 7 Sometimes if they didn't take a nap during the day, they will sleep by 8, 9, which is great. So this specific day, I needed to change the sheets. Because I have kids, I do change my sheets a lot. I'm sure you guys have noticed this like on all my vlogs, I'm changing the sheets. But I change my sheets a lot because these kids are messy they jump on this bed they do so many things on this bed so i try to change the sheets at least a couple of times a week and i know that's a lot but again this is the season where they start getting you know sick like look at this amari is just laying on the bed he doesn't care about outside clothes inside clothes they're just at that stage where i can't really control the amount of stuff going on on the bed and i try to sometimes but i really can't anyway so I make the bed and you know this day also I've been trying to do laundry you guys I hate laundry laundry is one of the things that hurts me the most it takes almost two weeks for me to do one load of laundry sometime I noticed she when I clean she also cleans so a lot of times I just allow her to be around me and I just allow her to you know fold if she wants to fold and things so most of the time you know when I'm folding I think she started like noticing that like I do a lot of laundry so sometimes she'll like try to fold clothes along with me and I guess it's you know good bonding time I want her to feel as though she can also do things and like she's not just a baby so I try to involve her as much as possible in what I'm doing because I notice like it's always nice to do that. Um, so like I said, laundry is not an everyday thing. It's not every night thing. After I'm able to lay out their clothes, you know, light a candle, make sure the atmosphere is right. Honestly, for them, I like to actually do a routine. So most of the time I shower them and then I put on a lullaby. Most of the lullabies I use are literally on YouTube. I, I just search 
um, child's lullaby and one of them comes up 